Hello YouTube world. This is another Ipsy video I got. And off she went to change the world. And it has a star right here in the zipper. It's a gold and like um metallic gold bag. First things first, we got this kind of gold metallic shimmery sparkly brush looks like a blending brush and i've also pulled out the card here too it says it's national women's history month and this card is not like the other cards where it's just front and back but this card i noticed it opens and it gives a description about everything that's going to be in the bag and here's the brush this is a short shader brush and it gives a description of everything. It gives you a tip on what you, how you can use it on your eyes. And it also gives me um, a YouTuber and beauty guru Stephanie Lewis created this line of high quality synthetic brushes the, that look so pretty in our brush jar. Whether you want a suitable or smudgy, smoky eye look, this brush is your go-to. Plus, the glitter handle is simply adorbs. So, that looks like fun to use. I, I really like this, this detail in the brush. So, I didn't know a YouTuber created this brush. This would be cool to try. Next, we have Tarte brand man eater mascara let's see cg025 i wonder if that's the color doesn't really give a color it says voluminous mascara and this is a tart brand Ooh. so the bristles on this brush are very very like short and firm i don't know if y'all can see that very very good okay next we have this lip gloss Ooh, it's kind of a pink shimmery lip luster london let me open it and see the color okay i don't know if you guys can see this or not but it's definitely clear and shimmery like glittery I don't know if it's shimmer or glitter. Let's see. See it? It's so it's going to come out real nude on the real clear on the lips. But in there, it looks pink. It also smells like cotton candy. It smells real good. But I would just put this like, I guess, over a lipstick. You want a little bit of shimmer or you want it to look real glossy. This will do the trick. So that's pretty cool. If anything, I know my nine-year-old will love this too, in case I don't have any use for the glitter. I'm not real into glitter, but sometimes I do like to glam it up a little bit, and that would be a good overcoat for that. So we'll give it a try. Next here we have a nail polish. This is Helios Smart Nail Polish. It's free of all these paraben-free, phosphate-free, cruelty free so it has not been tested on animals or anything which is great see what it looks like okay this is the color it looks like a very lavender spring type of color professional nail polish if the camera is doing its justice let's see like a mauvey purple type color really pretty the color is called live in lovely that's the name of this color okay let's see what's next last but not least we got this bubble tea bath and body lemongrass and green tea stimulating body lotion fresh lemongrass and green tea and used with lively lemon zest and citrus elements to stimulate and 
invigorate infused with tea essential oils. Smooth moisturizing lotion over body to keep your skin hydrated, silky, soft, and diligent, delightfully scented. Okay, so I put some here on my hand so we can test it out. It was sealed. It had the little thing over the hole. I had to peel it off. So brand new. I like that. It wasn't something that was pre-tested or anything before I got it. So let's smooth it on and see how it does. Okay, so here is my hand. It smells really, really, really good. Um, very zesty, lemony. I don't really smell much of the green tea. I can smell more of like the lemon and the citrus. But, oh, it feels pretty good. Really soft. I love the way it feels. Great sample. I might actually consider purchasing this because... They say that lemongrass is really good repellent for mosquitoes. So I wanted to put that to the test. I don't know. But my cousin told me that. I don't, I'm not sure if that's true. But according to what I've read online or what I've looked into, it could do the trick for mosquitoes too. But of course we do use repellent and everything. Anyway, here is everything I got for the month of March 2019 Ipsy bag. The brush, the lotion, the gloss, mascara, and nail polish, along with this cute little bag, and a detailed description of where these items came from and tips on how to use them, when to use them. Try these pro uh, products and see what we think. I also, I'm so sorry, guys, I got. Like I said, I had got a new job, so I've been late on these videos. I've been late on uploading. I should have uploaded one for the spring break, but this spring break, we actually lost a member of our family. I had an uncle that passed away, so I hadn't been able to upload. I just wasn't in the mood to upload um, a candy video or anything. We kind of just took some time to relax and just, you know... Um, what can I say, you know, when someone's in the hospital and things happen, just, you need, sometimes you just need some time to yourself. So that's exactly what we did. And we cleaned the house. The girls got a few new clothes for spring break. We are back at school this week. Anyway, as soon as I get the chance, I will upload a year of Ipsy bags and then my reviews on my favorite products of what I've used and what I like from what I've received throughout the whole year and share that with you as soon as I get it. And just keep a lookout. I will be back with more Ipsy videos, of course, next month. And I'll catch you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. And I appreciate your feedback. Thank you.